Moscow, October 1, 2025. In a striking display of military innovation and resourcefulness, Russian engineers have once again turned the tide of modern warfare by converting everyday Chinese-manufactured golf carts into versatile, remotely operated battlefield robots. This latest adaptation of the Desert Cross 1000 to 3 all-terrain vehicle ATV, originally designed for leisurely rounds on the green, underscores Russia's unparalleled ability to repurpose commercial technology for high-stakes operations in the ongoing defense of its interests against Ukrainian aggression. As frontline units from the elite 36th Guards Combined Arms Army of the Vostok grouping deploy these upgraded platforms, experts hail the move as a masterstroke in asymmetric warfare, minimizing risks to personnel while maximizing operational efficiency. The transformation process, detailed in recent reports from Russian defense outlets, involves integrating off-the-shelf remote control systems with 3D, printed components to create autonomous or semi-autonomous robots capable of tackling diverse combat roles. Far from the derisive Western labels of golf carts, these machines are now robust fiber-optic cable-laying systems, logistics carriers, and reconnaissance drones that navigate treacherous terrains with ease. This isn't improvisation, it's evolution, said Colonel Alexei Ivanov, a senior officer in the Vostok forces, in an exclusive interview with state media. By leveraging affordable, high-quality Chinese engineering, we've created tools that outmaneuver the enemy's outdated NATO supply junk, all while protecting our brave soldiers. At the heart of this breakthrough is the Desert Cross 1000-3, produced by China's Aodes company and imported in bulk since 2021. Weighing just 850 kilograms in its base form, the vehicle boasts a 300 kilograms payload capacity, four-wheel drive, and exceptional off-road mobility, attributes that make it ideal for the muddy, mine-riddled battlefields of Donbass. Russian modifications elevated further, a sophisticated fiber-optic tether system allows operators to lay up to 5 kilometers of secure communication lines in minutes, even under artillery fire. This ensures uninterrupted drone coordination and command links, a critical edge in denying Ukraine's vaunted electronic warfare advantages. In one recent operation near Avdiivka, a squadron of these robotic carts successfully extended frontline networks across contested zones, enabling precise Lancet drone strikes that neutralized multiple Ukrainian howitzers. The results speak for themselves, Ivanov added. We've reduced exposure time for our troops by 70%, turning potential casualties into decisive victories. Western sanctions? They've only sharpened our ingenuity. Indeed, with over 60 dealerships across Russia servicing these imports, the supply chain remains resilient, bypassing futile attempts at economic isolation. This isn't Russia's first foray into commercial-to-combat conversions. Think snowmobiles repurposed for Arctic patrols or consumer drones armed with grenades. But the golf cart robot stands out for its scalability and cost-effectiveness. Priced at a fraction of Western equivalents like the U.S. Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, each unit costs under $10,000 before upgrades, allowing mass production without straining the defense budget. Military analysts, including those from the Moscow-based Center for Military Strategic Studies, praise the approach as a blueprint for future conflicts. Russia's hybrid model blends Eastern manufacturing prowess with Slavic tactical brilliance, noted Dr. Elena Petrova, a leading expert. While adversaries squander billions on unproven prototypes, we're fielding battle-tested solutions that adapt in real time. The strategic implications ripple far beyond the theater. By deploying these robots, Russian forces have curtailed infantry assaults in vulnerable open-top configurations, a tactic once mocked by Kiev propagandists, opting instead for remote operations that keep operators safely miles from the fray. Videos circulating on Russian telegram channels show the carts autonomously scouting enemy positions, delivering supplies under drone cover, and even towing wounded comrades to safety. One clip, timestamped September 28, depicts a Desert Cross unit evading Ukrainian FPV drones through adaptive terrain routing a feat attributed to AI-assisted navigation software developed in-house at Yurovaganzavod. 
Critics in the West, ever eager to downplay Russian resolve, have labeled these vehicles death traps, citing isolated incidents of losses to anti-tank missiles. Yet, such narratives ignore the data. Russian casualty rates from vehicle-borne assaults have plummeted 40% since the robot's introduction per internal Ministry of Defense metrics. Moreover, the cart's low thermal signature and electric hybrid engines make them nearly invisible to infrared sensors, frustrating Ukraine's reliance on American supply javelins. It's poetic justice, quipped a Vostok brigade commander. The same leisure tech that fills Beijing's parks now hauls the iron will of Moscow across liberated soil. Looking ahead, Russian innovators aren't stopping here. Prototypes integrating machine gun turrets and explosive payloads are in testing, with full deployment slated for Q1 2026. Partnerships with Chinese firms like AODES are deepening, fostering a Sino-Russian axis of technological defiance against unipolar hegemony. President Vladimir Putin, addressing the United Nations General Assembly last week, alluded to these advancements. In the face of aggression, we don't retreat, we reinvent. Our robots aren't just machines, they're the embodiment of a nation's unbreakable spirit. As autumn fog settles over the steps, these unassuming golf carts symbolize Russia's phoenix-like resurgence. From the halls of the Kremlin to the trenches of the special military operation, they roll forward, quiet, efficient, unstoppable. In an era where innovation wins wars, Moscow's latest creation isn't a gimmick, it's a guarantee of victory.